And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. It's Trabzonspor facing FC Copenhagen. Well, after that first leg, it should be comfortable for the host today. But if the visitors get an early goal, quieten the crowd and start to create some tension, it might become interesting, even if a little unlikely. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Nwakeme. Over the touchline for a throw in. Now to take it away. Losing possession. Now what can they do from here? And a textbook interception. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Vizca, Bruno Perez, opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Amjik. Couldn't put it away, offside however. Well, he'll certainly be pleased to see the flag go up there because that was a poor miss. Vitor Hugo, it's with Hamšík, Nwakeme, very comfortable when in possession, crossing possibilities, 
And you saw the situation developing. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. Le Rager. Biel. Rasmus Falk Jensen on the ball. Will he play it in? An alert piece of defending. Densville. It's with Dorukan Dockers. Oh, nice ball over the top. Hamshik. Abdul Kadir Umur. And given away. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Pepiel. Can they get in behind them? Le Rager. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. Dorukan Tokus almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Hamšík. It's with Edin Vizca. There to win it back. Klasson. Dix with it. Falk. He's given us away. Could be a chance to break here. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Vishja. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. And dispossessed. Falk. Pepiel. Le Rager. Untidy in possession. Vishcha. Options in the centre. And very deftly cut out. Kevin Dix. And he's taken it away. Vishcha deserves credit for winning the ball back. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. Anthony Nwakeme. And the cross is very much on. Nwakeme. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. And a yellow card, it's going to be, Stuart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long.
fantastically taken free kick, but no reward. Yeah, whenever he steps forward, I expect him to hit the target, and he's only inches away there. Falk. Dix with it. Le Rager. Oh, moving it nicely. And how about that for a save? Hamšík. Vizca. No danger here as he runs at them. Ermier. Keeping it moving dynamically. And a tidy challenge. <laughs> Le Rager. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Vitor Ugo. Hamšík now. Gensville. Vizca. Bruno Perez. A chance to whip it in. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. And they will make the change now. Excellent ball towards the front post. Oh, but claimed by the goalkeeper. Bruno Perez. Giannini. Possession given away, unfortunately. Klaasson. And on the ball, Jurgensen. Wonderfully weighted pass. Offside it is, but he needed sharp eyes to make that decision. Well, it's fine margins, isn't it? But in the end, he just went too early. Substitution time it is here. Twenty minutes to go. Anastasios Bacasetas. Giannini. Bacasetas with it. And return to Vizca. Offside, a tight one. Giannini. And he takes it on. Oh, yes! A goal! Exactly what they were looking for. And he's come up with it. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that.
And the aggregate score has a one-sided look about it. 4-0. Flirting with more than a bit of danger following that challenge. He's already been booked. Well, really walking a tightrope, but not seeing yellow for a second time. Well, I think the referee's right. It's not a second yellow, but he needs to be careful now. And they're making a change. Getting in there to take it away. Manolis Ziopis. Just ten minutes remaining here. Anthony Nwakene. It's with Ziopis. Now that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Peter Ankersen. And on the ball, Jurgensen. Jens Stage. Nicely cut out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Manolis Siopis. It's with Edin Vischa. Anthony Nwakeni. Mischar! A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, as you can see here, the build-up is patient, it's precise and penetrative, which opens up the opposition, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. Well, the gulf in quality has been marked on aggregate. It's 5-0. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Nikolai Jürgensen. Falk. A really sumptuous ball, but not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. And the referee's whistle, the home fans are thrilled because they can now book their tickets for the final. Well, those celebrations will be going on for a long time now because they know just how good they've been over the two legs. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final if they play like that. In the final analysis, a mighty role played by Edin Vizca. Sensational performance from him. Stuart, how would you assess his production? Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well, he scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.